Hello my dear watchers and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today's video tutorial is for those people who want to create a quiz, have a great amount of questions already created and look for the easiest way to export import them in bulk without creating questions one by one. The pro version of the QuizMaker plugin definitely allows you to export import questions without any difficulties. You don't need to have another plugin or add-on to manage this process. The QuizMaker plugin is completely enough. Let's imagine you are currently using the QuizMaker plugin and want to create a quiz with questions, but you have already created a great amount of questions in, for instance, Word document. Now you definitely don't want and don't have time to create questions one by one with the plugin again. So here you need to make use of the export import functionality of the plugin. So let me explain the steps to make this work. At first, of course, you need to have the QuizMaker plugin installed on your WordPress dashboard. I have already installed it so as not to waste time. Also, please make sure that a file you are trying to import has exactly the same structure as the file in our example and the file I'm going to show you. So, let's start. So, firstly, head to the QuizMaker plugin questions page. Here you can find all the example file formats we have for export import. Uh, so these are CSV, XLSX, JSON and simple XLSX. Uh, today I have already exported a file uh, in XLSX file format so as not to waste time. And uh, today we will concentrate on mainly the XLSX file format as it is of easy use and can be used by anyone. Uh, unlike, for instance, the JSON file format, which is mostly developed for developers. So click and open the exported uh, XLSX file. Uh, here you can see that it has so many columns. Let me explain each of them one by one. First is the idea of the question. Uh, then comes the category. Um, it is uncategorized now, but you can change it to any category you prefer. Please note that you can write any text here you want. For example, if the question is of the vocabulary category, you can write vocabulary. Then comes uh, the question itself. Here you can write a question title. Here you can uh, insert the question image if there are any. Then comes the question hint. Uh, here you can write information to help users to find the right answer to the question. Here comes the type of the question. Here you can see that uh, we can export uh, any kind of question, any type of question the plugin has uh, in the XLSX file format. Uh, so then comes the published column. Uh, if the value is 1, that means the question is published. If it's 0, then it is not published. You can change it here. If you don't want the question to be published, just insert 0 here. Then comes the wrong answer text and right answer text. Uh, that is what user uh, sees when the answer is right or wrong. Uh, on the front end, here comes the explanation, question explanation field and the user explanation field. Uh, for the user explanation field, um, you can either uh, enable it or disable it. If you want it to be enabled, just write on instead of off here. Uh, so then comes the not influence to score uh, column. Uh, please let me explain the functionality. So uh, if you don't want the question to be included in the final calculation then write on for the not influence to score column if you don't want, if you want the question to be uh, included uh, in the final calculation then just set off for it then comes the weight field you can write any value you want here one zero if it is zero then the question has no point has no weight so then comes the answers column, which is the most important. Um, please be careful in this regard so that import functionality can work correctly for you. Uh, please write the values for it uh, by the following principles. Uh, so open the curly braces, then write the ID of the answer first of all, then the question ID. And as it is a true or false question type, write whether the answer is true or false. Then uh, set the image URL if there are any. Uh, 
then mention if the answer is correct or not if it is correct it has the value one if it is not correct it has the value zero then write the ordering um, then set the weight uh, for the question if it is zero then it has no weight if it has any other number it has weight accordingly then write the placeholder uh, this is the text you write in the placeholder field then uh, the keyword if there is any here is it is a uh, so please note that uh, starting from this part uh, to this part it is the first answer option and starting from this part uh, starts the second answer option so we have successfully uh, done all the changes here in the exported file now it's time to import the file um, then uh, we close the file accordingly and go to the questions page uh, click on the import button uh, and here is one important uh, option checkbox uh, you need to know about this is the update existing questions so please let me explain how the update existing questions feature works in a quiz so uh, when you e export the questions you need to change the question ids manually uh, and uh, the question ids uh, which you have already uh, changed in the exported file uh, will be imported with the question id you have set for them instead of the default ones so um, this feature only refers to those question IDs which you have manually set in the exported file. So tick it if you want, uh, if, if you find it necessary for your requirements. It's high time to import the questions. Uh, in my case, I tick update existing questions feature as well. So click on the choose file button and find the file you want to export. It, it is this one so and we click on the import now button and uh, we can see that uh, eight questions are imported successfully and no failures found so we have successfully exported and imported the uh, questions in the xlsx file format so please uh, let you know about two important facts here um, please note that for import xlsx file your version of php must be over than uh, 5.6 and of course uh, please let me tell you about one important point uh, when you import the file in a simple xlsx file format tick this checkbox of course so that importing can normally be done for you also, please let me tell you about those rare cases when the error connected to the server limitations may occur for you. I want to mention that a plugin doesn't have any limitations for creating questions. You can add unlimited questions and answers to your quiz. However, sometimes uh, there, will, there may be a limitation set by your server. So in case you are trying to add another question and you don't manage to do this, or you can save the changes, please either get in touch with your hosting provider or try to expand the following PHP values on your own via the cPanel. So uh, the PHP values you need to expand in these kind of cases are max input bar, set it as uh, 20,000 for instance, uh, max execution time, max input time, set them as 600 and post max size, you can set it as uh, 256 for instance. So we have successfully exported imported questions with the help of our QuizMaker plugin. As you can see, it is easier than you can imagine. Stay tuned for more informative videos. Bye!